Alright, so uh, me and River found some pretty stupid quotes that we thought we'd share with you. And uh, here's one. I never apologize. I'm sorry, but that's just the way I am. Homer J. Simpson. Pretty sure he just said sorry right there. Hey, Jade. We're making a video. This other quote. Alright, I, I shall read this time. Hey. One bright morning, in the middle of the night, two dead boys came out to fight. They stood back to back and faced each other, drew their swords and shot each other. The deaf policemen heard the noise and came to kill those two, those two dead boys. If you don't believe my story, it's true. That's the blind man who saw it too. So, I'm pretty sure I said that right. Well, obviously this quote makes perfect sense because obviously two dead boys can always come out to fight. Uh-huh. And uh, they Again. shot each other with swords. Yep. And uh, deaf policeman heard it, and he wanted to kill those dead boys because you know policemen just go out to kill people when they hear noises. Always. <laughs> just go, just. Oh my God! Did you hear that? I'm going in. <laughs> that's all I have in my house. Well, that's a long one. Ah, okay. I thought a thought that I thought I had thought, but the thought that I had thought wasn't the touch that. I, wait, what? <laughs> oh my God. The thought? Crap! I thought? Ah! Right. Try it again. Right. I thought a thought that I thought I had thought, but the thought that I had thought wasn't the thought that I had thought. I had thought, so maybe if I had thought that the thought that I thought I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. Yeah, that one's stupid just because it's so much thought. I mean, who thinks that much? No, I don't. Alright. And the person who made that was me. Not me. Literally, the name says me. It must be Chinese. Uh, should we read this one? Sure. Alright, maybe you got this one. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, I think it's like a script style thing. Alright, well, I'll be Harry, you be the principal. Alright. I'll be yes. the narrator. A first grade teacher, Miss Brooks, was having trouble with one of her students. The teacher asked, Harry, what's your problem? Harry answered, I'm too smart for the first grade. My sister's in the third grade, and I'm smarter than she is. I think I should be in the third grade, too. Miss Brooks had had enough. She took Harry to the principal's office. While Harry waited in the outer office, the teacher explained to the principal what the situation was. The principal told Miss Brooks he would, he would give the boy a test. If he failed to answer any of his questions, he must go back to the first grade and behave. She agreed. Harry was brought in, and the conditions were explained to him, and he agreed to take the test. Principal, what is 3 times 3? 9. What is 6 times 6? 36. And so it went with every question that the principal thought a third grader should know. The principal looks at Mrs. Brooks and tells her, I think Harry can go to the third grade. Miss Brooks says to the principal, let me ask him some questions. The principal and Harry both agreed. Miss Brooks, Ms. Brooks asks, what does a cow have have four of that I have only two of. Harry, after a moment, legs. Miss Brooks, what is in your pants that you have but I do not have? <laughs> <laughs> the principal wondered why, why would she ask such a question, and Harry replied, pockets. Miss Brooks, Miss Brooks, what does a dog do that a man steps into? Pants. Miss Brooks, what starts with a C ends with a T is hairy, oval, delicious, and contains thin, whitish liquid. Coconuts. The principal sat forward with his mouth hanging open. Miss Brooks, what goes on what goes in hard and pink that comes out soft and sticky? The principal's eyes opened really wide, and before he could stop to answer, Harry replied, Bubblegum! Miss Brooks. What, did, what does a man do standing up, a woman does sitting down, and a dog does on three legs? Shake hands. The principal was trembling. Miss Brooks, what word starts with an F and ends in X? That means a lot of heat That's and excitement. K. Oh, K. sorry. K. Fire truck. The principal breathed a sigh of relief and told the teacher, put Harry in the fifth grade. I got the last seven questions wrong. Few that mistakes is. there, but... Pretty inappropriate. Yeah. If you think about it that way, you dirty people. 
Jeez. God. Next one. A day without sunshine is like night. That is... Beautiful. Worth the vibe. That seemed better. Alright. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Mm. Go! Hey, my spanking. Oh. Spank that. I would. <laughs> if you have noticed... If you have noticed this notice, you'll have noticed that this notice is not worth noticing. See, that's just as stupid as the thought one. I mean, it's not needed to put that much repeating of the words. And that was made by a very important notice. You're so stupid, you threw a rock at the ground and missed. Oh, I'm gonna use that next time. That was my little brother. Not his little brother, it's just... Well, my brother does that too, but... Anyways. You know, brother, you're really stupid. You're so stupid that when you threw a rock, you missed the ground! Ah! I got you! I haven't heard that one before. Ah, oh, diagnosis connection power. 111? What? <laughs> I thought it was just a. There was a man that named Joke. I killed him. Joke's over. <laughs> uh, that's bad grammar at the beginning. There was a man. I don't get My friend in my head. That's good, that one's bad. I'd insult you, but you're not bred enough to notice. <laughs> I'm hungry! Then go get something to eat! But I'm too lazy to eat! Then won't you die? I'm too lazy to die. When it comes to kicking some ass, I'm brave. But when it comes to telling you how I feel, I'm as weak as a toothpick. So Alright, I'll be the boy, you be the girl. Alright. You're my drug. Because you're addicted to me? No, because you ruined my life! <laughs> Drugs ruin life. Yeah, they do. Once, there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. And if you don't know that one, then you haven't lived because, you know... I'm not even going to tell you that's fine. You just got to figure that one out. Oh! That is a good question. <laughs> do cats know their cats? I know I do. But what? I can't stand having a toe, a leg, an arm outside my blanket. I always believe that a monster will grab it and drag me under the bed. I get that all the time. It's like, if I, I have to be completely covered. Even when it's super hot outside, I just gotta like, have a sheet over me. It's like, I'm gonna die if I don't. Every night, it always scares me. Yeah. Anyways. You have the right to give you your opinion, but I still have the right to tell you how stupid that is. And that was by me. Again. Oh yeah. Me makes a lot of stuff. Oh, what yeah. do they want? <laughs>